My biggest win in one session was $11,526,000. Have you ever wondered what Mickey Mays' strategy is to win so much? Well, after some study, I've learned four different things that Mickey Mays does in order to improve his odds at winning in the casino. All right, so the first tip I've got for you guys is making sure that you play with a strategy. Now, if you've seen any of Mickey's videos, you'll know that when people ask him, how much are we gonna win? He always says, we can either win X amount or walk away with nothing. All right, we got 500 bones. How much can we turn this into? Um, it's either gonna be zero or it's gonna be 2,500. Now, this means that before he even walks into the casino, he already knows at what point he's gonna walk away. And that's one of the most important things because there's no point winning $10,000 off 100 bucks if you then just lose that $10,000 in the next hand. As for the games he plays, we all know that Mickey loves his Baccarat. So if you're going to play Baccarat, make sure that you're also playing with some kind of strategy. Don't just be putting your hands down randomly. There are a heap of Baccarat strategies out there. I've even made a couple on, you know, my personal favorites. But really, as long as you've got some kind of system, you can guarantee that you're not just going to be betting randomly. And then that way you can make sure that you're playing intelligently. So the second tip that I have for you guys is making sure that you use your bonuses and comps that the casinos give you. So Mickey tells a story of a friend of his that went into a Baccarat game that had a 20% cash back on your losses. So he went in and he put down half a million dollars and lost it all. But because of the 20% cash back, he still managed to get $100,000 back. What he then did was he went to the next casino, put half a million dollars down, and because Baccarat is essentially a 50-50% chance of winning or losing, he managed to win that hand and then managed to win a million dollars, which was all the money that he'd lost previously, but also had the $100,000 from the 20% cash back. So although he didn't beat Baccarat, he was still walking away with an extra $100,000. Now you can do this yourself without having to go into half a million dollar bets, but you just gotta be mindful of what bonuses and what comps the casino is giving you. So in-person casinos, they'll generally give you free rooms or free credits to play with in the hopes that you'll come back down to the casino and lose your money. Online casinos, however, they'll actually give you some extra money to play with whenever you deposit. So let's say that you know you put in $200 into 7-bit and they give you an extra 50% bonus. So that means now you have $300 to play with. That means that as you play, if you're using a system like the Martingale or something else like that, you can actually go further into your system without having to risk any more money. This means that it actually makes it more likely for you to actually get a winning from one of these systems. Now, if you are interested in which casinos are the best, it does depend on what location you're in. Um, I use BitStars, but that's because I'm in Australia. I've also used 7-Bit, and I'm pretty sure that's available in the US or UK. And they've got pretty damn good bonuses and one of the lowest wager requirements that I've ever seen. Tip number three I have for you guys is using the Fibonacci or a similar system and having a big bankroll. Now, we all know systems like the Martingale don't tend to work, and even Mickey himself has said that he doesn't like the Martingale system. How do you feel about the, uh, what is it called, the Martingale strategy, where you like double, like you start with like 10, and then if you lose, then you bet 20, and then you do 40? Yeah, so the Martingale strategy is proven to be a losing strategy. It's also mm. a terrible strategy. What we can do, though, is instead of using a Martingale, we can use a Fibonacci progression, which at this point I'm sure you guys have seen, where it goes 1, 1, 2, 5, 8, and so on and so forth. Now, the benefit of a Fibonacci over a Martingale is that your bet isn't increasing as rapidly. That way, when you do have a series of losses, you're not going to lose it all as quick. The other thing Mickey does whenever he plays is he makes sure that he plays with the biggest bankroll possible. That's why he'll walk up to a table and, you know, have a million dollars in chips. Because his idea is the more money that he can have to play with, that means he's more likely to execute one of these systems successfully because he has more chances. So the moral of the story is make sure that you're always playing with the most amount of money that you can afford to play with because playing with anything else under is going to mean that you risk fewer chances of winning. It means you're going to have a higher likelihood of walking away with nothing as opposed to if you had started with double or triple the bankroll, that'll actually give you exponentially improving odds on walking away a winner. Tip number four that I have for you guys is trying to reverse engineer the cheats. Now this is the one thing that Mickey harps on about on and on and on all the time is that he's managed to work out a system to reverse engineer the cheats. Now 
while this sounds intelligent, what you've got to realize is that the casinos are going to play the way they're going to play regardless. So what you've got to do is you've got to think about how the casino would want the results to come out. How are they going to make you lose the most amount of money? So for example, if you've seen, you know, a thousand hits on Banker, what's what's the next thing that you're going to think is going to come up? And you would think it's going to be player because a thousand Banker hits, the chances of getting, you know, a thousand and one Banker hits is incredibly small. And it's those moments that you've got to notice. And then that's where you would place your bet on Banker because you know the casino is expecting you to place your bet on player. So you really just have to be thinking about if I were the casino and I had the ability to cheat in this situation, what would I want to do? How would I, because in Baccarat, we can essentially choose player or banker. How are they going to know which one we're going to choose before we actually choose it? And then that will change the outcome of the game that they want and it'll decide which side they want to win. Now, if you're conscious of this, you can actually see these trends as they're occurring and start to try and play the opposite of what you would expect. So I've got a perfect example of this for you here. This guy was playing some online blackjack hands and what he did, he was going to play against the book to upset the order of the cards. So what he did was he got dealt, I think it was a 17 or something, and he decided to hit. Now what that means is that the card that the dealer would have gotten if he had stood is now in his hand and everything else behind that is now delayed by one card. And what happened after that is that on the next hand, he managed to get a blackjack straight away. Well, that's all that I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video and learned something new, please make sure you chuck a like and subscribe down below. It really helps the algorithm push this knowledge out to some more people. If you want to see some more of me gambling, I've also got a Facebook and an Instagram which you can find linked below. But I hope you guys found this technique helpful and I hope you learned something. And I hope you win big out in the casinos. Good luck out there. Cheers, guys.